Hello, sir. Yes, sir. How are you? President Jackson, your namesake is not one of the two that we, uh, <laughs> we, we discussed. We talk about President Lincoln. We talk about President Washington for President's Day. I guess, though, they're all supposed to be in that discussion. But why is it that we only talk about those two presidents, Ken Jackson? Well, you mentioned my friend and ancestor, Andrew Jackson. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, he had two things for his fame. Uh, one, of course, was the fact that he hated the banks. And he seemed to be right on that one. The one that he seemed to be wrong on was the Trail of Tears. Right. And, uh, and what was the Trail of Tears? That's when he drove the Cherokees out to Oklahoma Territory. And there's still nothing out there. So drove them to a place where they couldn't even exist well. Right. And that's the blot on his sure. background. Oh, okay, back to what, what we're talking about. Yes. Two presidents that we have just happened to be born in the same month, February 9th and February 22nd. Now, uh, why do we celebrate these two as opposed to all others? Well, I suppose it's the educational system that focused on these two presidents because I can relate to my own elementary school experience that my teachers from about second grade on uh, talked about George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. George Washington was the father of our country. Mm -hmm. A lot of stories are about George, but we know that he had a lot of leadership capability and, and, and got the country going. Right. Uh, I don't know whether he cut down the cherry tree or not, <laughs> but in fact, when we were youngsters, we were told that he was just the most honest fellow because he cut down the cherry tree and then told his dad that he was the one that did it. Well, that's, that's a story. But uh, when it comes to leadership, he proved that very definitely in pulling the states that were there, the 13 colonists together. And as, as, as that grew, then the rest of the country grew. Uh, he also, uh, as I understand it, is the only president in our history who was elected unanimously. Yes. He received all electoral votes. Mm -hmm.